Now on to the second ruin level, the main example of repeated themes. Because this, this game does repeat themes, just not very frequently, and when they do, they normally chuck them on opposite sides of the world map, which is really nice. Makes the replayability a little higher. And even then, this does have a little bit of a different... Like the battle arenas are a lot different, you can clearly see that while it's the same aesthetic, it's different design. Anyway, I think I'm just gonna shoot down all the next first just because... There we go, just blow the thing out of the sky. I didn't even realise they fired at you. Like, you can blow up the sights themselves. Hey, I didn't actually realise that. That is actually quite nice. Yeah, I wonder why. Nothing ever gets taken down by turrets. Also, I like how that is literally just fucking JPEG of Eggman there. And yeah, this... Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, that... The audio cut off for a little bit. Oh, what is going on here? Oh, right, I need fucking... There we go. There we go. Ah, oh, yeah, this is like the main Mexico level. So, of course, this is where you get a fucking high jumpy thing. So, you're pretty much forced to actually learn how to use it. Because, like... Oh, that, that could have been fucking bad. A little shortcut, so... Ah, they didn't... Why did they not allow us to do cheese? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, there was no point in carrying on. I mean that thing. No. <laughs> like we're literally just going off the battleship snake and we need to fucking Also, yeah, the That is one thing, the Previous level was about, at least within the neutral path, was about actually activating all of the things, yet you didn't do that, so like, why? <laughs> why is it super, why did we have to fucking do it if you just gone and done it your fucking self, mate? Oh, well, there's some more of these. Nah, actually use the spin dash. Right, do spin dash? Yay, they do. There, I took off the turret. I do like how there's actually multiple targets on there. It makes it a little more interesting than just spamming the B button while looking at the thing. And yeah, more weapon variety. Give me reason to you big dickhead. Ah, 
And then there's just the big guy there which I'm going to skip because really I don't really want to bother with him. I just ran that guy over. That is fantastic. Oh yeah, I mean, that mech is actually quite a fun mess around. Now, oh actually yeah, there is the fucking mission objective there and the key. Cool. How have I always missed that key? And then yeah, all the cannons are gone. So now it's just a little bit of a spam fest. I wonder if you can actually reach them with just the guns. Most likely, but eh. Well then, stop getting them in our way. And then there we go. Another turret there. Oh, I missed that. How do I keep missing, seriously? Oh well, that thing's gonna die. So yeah, now it's just a rush to the end. <laughs> oh yeah, and then this is the actual shield tutorial. When there's shields in the other ones that... That is one thing I really do like about the game though. Just how it sort of tutorializes everything throughout the neutral pathway. Like, they fully expect the Sonic fans to be like, Really, it's a Sonic game, I'm gonna run to the end! So they actually decide to put the tutorial throughout the beginning of the game, which is but I'm... Oh, mistake. It's a shame that you can't just press control through there. And yet we're not going to be able to get through that. Oof. Oh, and now we're through. And then yeah, there's the race platform of that one. I want to know how Eggman reacts when he starts getting his own soldiers. Alright. Yeah, let's just destroy all the turrets as we go. There we go, that's going to be a bit of a direct hit. And yeah, it just cuts to Doctor, Black Doom no speaking despite him not one. being the mission partner. That's quite interesting to be honest. And then yeah, there was literally the end there. So I'm not going to bother doing the neutral mission because I do actually want to get through this. I mean the stream's been one hour already so yeah I do want to just go through the significant missions if there's a lot of overlap between neutral and one of the uh, extremes then you know I'm just gonna ignore it that one ignores the center anyway <laughs> Oh goodness sake. The foolish scientist still seeks to resist us. Use our cannons and blow the shots out of the sky. Those 
Actually, yeah, let's go Jasmine Gun. They are... They're actually quite fun to use. Okay, but can you not? Also, does Eggman's turrets actually fire at, e at the enemies? No oh, what? Fancy running a team. There's got to be some kind of peculiar power source that's keeping these ruins afloat. Find it and destroy them. When detects a high energy the future, you've destroyed No, I don't want to swap weapons. Come on, I was firing. But yeah, it's quite interesting how you auto switch weapons while you're holding... While you're riding a vehicle. Not holding a vehicle. Second vehicle. Oh. Oh right, you win the dodge. Is that key beyond that? No, they don't do the lazy level design trick. They're doing the best. So yeah, Eggman is actually trying to combat the fucking alien threat. Which I find is kind of cute. Of course it makes sense characterized because of course he wants to conquer the planet himself. If the aliens fucking do it, then he can't. <laughs> also yeah, the ring dash. Remember when you could ring dash on any formation of rings? And it would actually fucking work? That like <laughs> Like you Ah oh god I can't fucking speak. Stop at once. Yeah, I much prefer him neck man. There we go. No, oh, it's not going to congratulate us on killing that guy. But oh yeah, it's actually quite interesting how much mid-level dialogue this game actually has. Behold the ultimate power. There we go, let's just warp ahead a little bit. I'm so glad it doesn't. Yeah, both of them want us to go down despite it. <laughs> but I genuinely hope that. Ah, oh, right, yeah, there is one there. Alright. Thank you, Eggman. Go, go. Yeah, that is one thing that I really like about these missions. These alternate missions. Like, literally, the only ones that don't do that is the fucking chase missions and the uh, kill all the things missions. There. I knew that I disarmed them.
And yeah, I've been doing fairly good. I'm not actually using any of those additional weapons that I've unlocked from 100% in the game. <laughs> but yeah, this is actually quite short level, to be honest. Like, I mean, I guess it makes sense, it is only the neutral path, it's quite easy to get through these levels. They're designed to just, well, except when they stop this. And now, let's stop this, it's just that one level that ruins the entire fucking game. Like, every, every Sonic game has that one level everyone hates. And then yeah, there's the fucking going there, which we could just run to, so I'm not exactly going to count that. Yeah you can! Oh you will! You fucking karate chop him to death. No, I guess he does go down to the path where he doesn't particularly do that. Unless he decides to do the bad mission. <laughs> <laughs> 